With the first flight of a powered heavier-than-aircraft in 1903, the world has never been the same since then. An historic event in the history of aviation. Constant passengers checked in. More than 150 passengers. Aviation has played a vital role in our modern society, with the development of the first powered aircraft capable of sustained controlled flights, with applications ranging from civilian air transport, logistics, and war. All this was made possible by a simple yet powerful mechanism, the aircraft reciprocating engine. What is a reciprocating engine? An aircraft piston engine, also known as a reciprocating engine, is an internal combustion engine that converts pressure into rotational motion using one or more reciprocating pistons. The aircraft piston engine is based on the same concepts as most car engines. However, improvements to engines designed for aviation use have been made. The operating principle of this engine is to convert pressure from the combustion of a fuel-air mixture inside the piston into mechanical energy used to turn a shaft, which in turn rotates the propeller. In a nutshell, Mini controlled explosions inside a chamber expands the gases and force a piston down, which is connected to a crankshaft, turning it and thus the propeller produces thrust. The engine is the power plant of the aircraft, which means it supplies power to various systems of the aircraft. The reciprocating engine has many parts. In this video, we'll focus on the piston, the cylinder, and the crankshaft. The engine operates on a cycle of five functions, which are the intake, compression, ignition, combustion, and exhaust. This process converts the pressure produced from the combustion of a fuel-air mixture inside the cylinder into the mechanical motion that drives the piston down into the crankshaft. This is what happens inside the piston, which produces the rotary motion needed to turn the propeller. Reciprocating engines power most general aviation aircraft. Piston-powered aircraft typically fly at heights below 15,000 feet and use 100-octane low-leaded fuel. A typical piston aircraft's cabin is comparable to that of a small vehicle. The engine used by the Wright brothers in their historical first flight was a simple piston engine. It had four horizontal inline cylinders, the 4-inch bore, 4-inch stroke, cast iron cylinders fit into a cast aluminum crankcase. It incorporated aluminum into its construction, marking the first time this breakthrough material was used in aircraft construction and has been used ever since as an essential and primary construction material for all types of aircraft. Reciprocating engines remain as efficient power plants of aircrafts, especially during World War I and World War II. Until the development of jet engines, which became the primary engines that bigger aircraft and more powerful and capable military aircraft will be using during the end of World War II until today, where these modern jet turbine engines power our airliners and long-range aircraft. 